Hello everyone, welcome to January 2nd. Connected to the High Rise Hunting Grounds Emergency Line. What's the problem this time? Customers are being attacked. Something is wrong with the mainframe. The board of investors will not be pleased. Someone has to get the mainframe 8 and figure out what's going on. Tell the janitors, $5,000 for the one who makes it. Some employees are going to die. Yeah, they will. Make sure they sign a liability waiver. Just, you know, that crispy, crispy commentary on companies screwing over the people they work for, work for them. But, you know, uh, this is... Uh, what is this? This is Heavy Bullets. This is January 2nd in what my head has slowly started calling the Year of Rogue. I don't know if that's going to stick, but hey, we have a safe place to sh stop corporate safari. Yep. We have a handgun. And our bullets are really heavy. So we can pick them up and we can reload them. Now, question is... I do not have all of my old mapping for this. Let me see if I have my preset saved. I do not. So we're going to be doing this with all the standard keys. And if it goes really terribly, we'll remap them for next time. But welcome to this first person shooter roguelike. No rhythm today, unlike yesterday, but a far lighter tolerance for death. It's going to be a lot easier to die in here than it is going to be in the bullets per minute. Even if it seems very quiet and peaceful right now. Just waiting to be attacked. The thing that we really have to look out for on the ground is snakes. We find a bank here. I don't think we really need to... How do I have so much cash in balance? I don't know if it ba if it banked all the money I had when I won last time. But I'm not expecting to have that much cash. And I'm not even sure what a good bank balance looks like. So we'll take $300 with us. See what we can do with that. That is not one of the dangerous snakes in that plant there. Heal, focus pills, bullet magnet, or a silver life. Uh, I don't think we need any of that stuff, really. Must always, though, remember to be reloading. We do not want to get caught short. Alright, let's retreat immediately, assuming that... Bad things are going to come through that doorway. We pick up some cash off the ground from their corpses. Here we can heal, get repellent, speed pills, or carry plus. Again, not anything that I think we desperately need. Pop open another door. Gently creep around, see what is trying to possibly attack us. Right, that's a long dead end corridor. Now if we fire too far away, it's gonna be really hard to get our very limited bullets back. Whereas like that, they come straight back to us. Right, do you see the very deadly snake? Have you seen it yet? Is it right there? Yes, it is. Oh, God. What's... Hello. Is it only you? Okay, we can breathe. We can breathe. Let's collect our cash and our bullet. Yeah, I've no idea why I had a 5k balance. But hey, I'm not going to complain. What I really want is max HP ups, more bullets, and anything that's generally going to keep me alive longer. But this side seems innocuously quiet. 
Right, we've got nowhere to hide when we open this door. Nothing to hide from. What I'm really worried about is sometime soon there are going to be some turrets. And we have to shoot the small power boxes on the turrets between them taking pop shots at us. So far, not a threat. And we have a key for a locked door, which is very nice. Got to look in all of the corners of these places. Right, more bullets. Yes. So now we have... I can probably go a little deeper on that. Alright, we have six in the chamber and then 12 spare bullets. That's going to do us very well. Nothing on this end. Still waiting to just find a whole bunch of enemies around one corner together. Or to stop paying attention for three seconds and get bitten by a snake. As is classic behaviour. What's that? A red potion. I think that's going to heal us. Don't need any more of that stuff. Right, so this door is blue, which means we don't need a key to get through it. If they are pink, we have to spend our pink key cards. That's the difference. Alright, we missed the power box. Now this turret's going to be taking regular shots at us. We just want to line up our cursor with where we want to shoot at the end of our strafe. Then we can step out safely. Get all of our bullets back, pick up the cash. Always looking out for snakes. That one's homing in on us. No bother. There is a pink key carded door. I'm just gonna clear this area before even thinking about seeing what we can find in there. That's a bomb. A mega bomb. All right, we'll hold on to that. You see in the bottom right corner we have our bullets and our standard bombs. And then the mega bomb is a use item. Should probably check what the key for using a use item is. That would be beneficial to know for sure. There's a bad guy right there. I think the mega bomb is spacebar. That sounds very correct to me. And I'm not even sure what a silver life is either. A lot of this stuff seems to have such niche, niche use circumstances that I've yet to experiment with them that often. That's going to be a real pain to shoot. What we got there? Not so bad as I thought it was going to be. There's another one right there. And its power box is probably just on the right of it. It was not. A little bit further over than I anticipated, but that's fine. I 
I think there's one directly behind it as well. Nope, that's a vending machine. Alright. Well, we are far past that pink door. But I think that's fine. We only have the one key anyway. Banking, shopping, selling, and storage is not any services we require. That is a max HP up. I think that's about the third time I've ever seen one of those. So I'm very grateful to have hunted around to find it. And there is our hatch down to the next floor. So that's two of eight with a mini boss on four and the final boss on eight. Gonna continue straight on. I'm sure I probably thought this the last time I played this through. But I'd love to see a speed run of this done really, really well. I'm sure someone's done it, even if it doesn't have a massive following as a game. At least, I don't think I've ever seen anyone else play it. Not that I've actively searched, though. I'm sure there are other players of this out there doing a far better job than I have. Any snakes? Always looking for snakes. Bombs, knife, mine, bullets. Nothing we need in particular, I think. Get the door and drift away. That was a fun noise, I think. Yep. That is the little demon creatures, but with extra legs to protect themselves from bullets. They do make a different cry, which is nice. Is that a snake? I don't think it was. These very large rooms often have a lot going on in them. So you can't ever let your guard down. Even when you just want to run around and pick up all the gold, all the shinies. All right, looking okay. Oh! Did you hear it? Because I nearly stepped on it. Snakes. My partner was just complaining about how it's always spiders in video games and never snakes, but there you go. Snakes. Healing, red potion, coin magnet, and carry plus. Nothing that we need in particular, I think. There's a turret right there. And a guy behind the grass. Get rid of those at our own convenience. bulbous pink plants the the way the leaves are rendered often can look like snakes which is what makes me so paranoid now you can see here trying to go back on yourself not going to end well so we do have to keep pressing forwards button and dive out of the way let them come to us collect the cash that's a snake if I ever saw one right there. Pop. What's really cool is when they come in pairs, one directly after the other. You're like, oh, I got a snake. Must be relatively safe for a while. Then it gets you a max life up, 160. Absolutely. Easiest sale I ever purchased. Right, we've still got our 12 extra bullets. Hug the walls. There's a big plant in the way, isn't it? 
Schokoladen. Did that startle you as much as it startled me? Damn it. Right, that turret managed to get in between the gap. But that's fine. We're still on far more health than I would expect to have at this point. Can I shoot that from here? Oriented from where this turret actually is now. Alright. It is shot anymore, though. Must make sure we're collecting our ammo as we go. Don't want to leave that behind. It is precious. all of the bullets accounted for. Now, that is a standard door. But this part of the level continues, so perhaps it's a free treasure room? Looking for snakes. Slight paranoia. Three free bullets. That puts us at a 15 surplus. More big rooms, more threats. All right, that's no problem. A lovely little pop for them. Got there just in time on that one. Right, are we safe? Snakes, collect our cash and our bullets, take the door at an acute angle. That's in relation for me and the wall, not the other side of the obtuse side of the angle. Looking for turrets mostly. Another door needing a key card. We still have the one that we collected earlier. That is a snake. All right, let's check out this locked room. A gold potion. Does it tell me? Heals three health plus poison. Maximum capacity one. Well, I guess even though we're not that injured, I'll use that. Pick up my bomb. That is four explosions, maximum carrying three. Because basically I want to hoard as many explosives as I can heading into the mini boss. Oh look, a key. Get all of the cash. That is not a turret. All right, we've got guys with claws coming in. Must remember to reload. All right, that could have nearly been much worse. Who is seeing me? Let yourselves be known. Oh yeah, the pink exploding balls. I'd forgotten about the pink exploding balls. Right, there's a turret right here. Can I see it from this side? I think I should be able to. Yes. Here, bullets, homing bombs, red potion, knife. 
I think I might rather buy several homing bombs, but we will see about that in a moment. Now, if we buy one, we'd have to, at the very least, drop what we're holding. Yeah. How many of these can we hold? Max three. All right, we're going to hold on to these then. Make sure we're still looking for active threats. Like that one. The really tough part is that the objects remain, you know? The pink balls are still there, so you can always think that you're under threat by more pink balls. Pink exploding balls. Snake. Right, we don't need to heal. We don't need more reload. I think we're fine. I should probably buy more of this stuff just to experiment, but we've burnt through half of the free cash we withdrew at the start, so... We'll hold on to what else we have right now. There's our hatch down to floor three. Let's go. As we hydrate between floors. Very nice of them to give you the out of saving and quitting in between floors if you really wish. All right, nothing here. Now, these are tricky because you don't know which way you necessarily want to be looking as you peek out of the T-junction in the corridor. Always nice when you see them before they see you. Always happy to see that. Right, there was another way to go, so we could take that door. But if we backtrack a moment... This could just be a dead end. That's fine too. Sometimes it's a second door offering kind of the opposing side of the area you're moving into. Nope, nope, nope. Hopefully we can see its power bank from over here. Excellente. Very twitchy game, this. Very much need to be on the ball. Hopefully not the big exploding pink ones, but you know. I'm not even sure how much damage they do as an enemy. Right, this room is way too big and large. I can see a set of teeth right there. that a flying one there? Looks like it could have been, but we got it. That's a very big turret, isn't it? Did the thing... Nope. I was going to ask, did the thing behind it get killed in the explosion? No. No, it did not. It immediately became my problem. Seems mostly safe. Looking for snakes. Healing, carry plus speed pills, silver life. Now that I've remembered, I can actually check up these things' uses in the inventory when we find them. I will 
make the effort to double check when we don't have to buy them necessarily. All right, that side is clear. The cash and bullets are not making noises anymore. Banking, shopping, selling, and storage. I take it I don't have anything in storage. An antidote. All right, good to know. Fresh door. Going to be hard to hide anywhere here. At least the power bank is on the left-hand side of this turret. Anything else? Snake. 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 Oh, the memories. Banking, shopping, selling, storing. No need. What's the first threat? Place your bets. If you said the fear and anxiety of giant corridors, you win. Nothing over there. Right, there's probably a secret behind there. Let's just check this side first. Oh, it's too quiet. Uh, that is a mega bomb that I don't want, but now I have to find my extra standard bombs, or homing bombs rather. Right, we've still got our bullets, we've still got our health, 200 cash. Looking for threats. I barely register that as a threat. Now, stuff can spawn behind us in a level. Just not in this particular empty space. Got him. Snakes. Always, always looking for snakes. Another patch of grass with nothing behind it. If you have the knife, you can cut the, cut the patches of grass down to make it less perilous to walk into the mystery. Not a snake, that is my paranoia. Nothing in that direction. Very tight squeeze through here. Always be reloading. As long as we have sufficient bullets, we don't have to worry about the ones that are out there hopping around. Did see the snake. We shouldn't be surprising if I'm so paranoid that I'm shooting at stuff that is not snakes. Right, that's all of our bullets. There's a coin somewhere. I can hear... A gold coin jumping around. I think I just picked it up. Alright, that turret's going to be a doozy. Can I get out of its line of sight over there? Absolutely can. There's Snake. Let me just have to make sure we get the power source and not the plants. I think we're safe. Famous last words, of course. Uh, that looks like an antidote, which we don't need. Get all of our bullets. Easy to approach door is always appreciated.
Hello. Not today, Sonny. We should definitely check the other route. I think that's opening up into a larger space. It is indeed. We will come back the other way. Or is there not another way? That is everything, is it? Well, that's no fun. Alright, so we just have to get the turret first. I could try and get behind this pillar. Oh god. That's not a pillar, is it? That's a box. Okay. Hey there. Yeah, you mad. This room just does not like me. Extra key card. I will take a heal for 40. Looking for snakes. Always, always looking for snakes. I don't know if something in my graphics drivers have changed, but I used to be able to see through these glass windows, but now they just appear grey. Uh, I don't think I want a magic horseshoe, but I'll grab it. Coin magnet passive. Yeah, I don't think I need your coin magnet. Thank you, sir. And that's three down, carrying on to four and the mini boss. Oh god. All right, these things we have to shoot in the butt. Glad I remembered that one in a pinch. Snake. Nothing hiding back there. Uh, that was a key. It was that bloopy noise that we heard. We now have three of those. Alright. Oh, yeah. Okay. I thought they hadn't seen us yet and we were just hearing it through the walls, but okay. snake. Very nearly had me as I worried more about spiky boy. Bullets, rockets, bread, potions, or a backpack. Let's try a backpack. Backpack equipped, press tab to use. Yeah, so now we can carry two things. That's nice. I can't remember. I think that golden thing was, yeah, the golden magnet was back a floor, so we won't worry about that. We'll just keep pressing on. If you had enough money, I suppose you could just buy so many bullets that the gimmick stops becoming trying to go and chase after your own bullets as you spend them and just fire as much as you like. Now my brain is wondering whether you could map left click and R to the same button on the mouse so that every time you shoot you automatically reload a bullet. I think that would probably be a little against the spirit of things, but entirely plausible. I can hear something with wings or something such threshing their wings behind this door. Shot the turret instead of the power bank.
Job done. Yep. Suspected the flying. I can hear another one. Very rude. Putting a turret so close. So directly behind me. Right, nothing hiding here. We can take a heal for 40. And if we want something else on our backpack, we totally can. Give me a silver life. Absorbs one hit. Okay, so it's kind of like a soul heart in Isaac terms. Makes sense for what it is. Our last bullet accounted for. I think I saw the face of a snake just there. Right there. Yep, good. Let's be fast with pink exploding balls. Right, that's a standard doorway. Bullets and stuff. We can get more regular bombs. I don't know what the cap on those is, but we now have five of them. I'm also not entirely sure what the bomb throwing button is. Snake. That is a rocket. And that is another magnet. Bullet magnet. I'd rather have the silver life, thank you. Did not even think before going around that corner. Get another key card. Right, what next? Who's out to get me? Nothing hiding back there. There's all of our bullets accounted for. More tight corridor work. So far, I'm very happy with my resilience against the threat of pink exploding giant balls. constant threat in life. What's really threatening is when you have a giant set of pink balls and a snake all trying to explode on you at once. But fortunately, I brought protection. Especially when that guy is trying to plow me. Glad to have brought protection, kept myself safe. All right, we're missing a bullet. I think it's over there. Question else, what else is over there? Can't be this much nothing. Surely. Snake. Is that an exploding ball? not, it's just a harmless plant. That is a missile shooting turret though, I think. <laughs> did it blow itself up? If it did, that is brilliant. I approve wholeheartedly. Of that particular missile turrets golden life right we don't need any of that stuff I can hear someone flying in the next part of the room I can also 
hear a snake. Over there as well. Right. Nice and simple. Collect all of our gubbins. Check the corners. Check the other way around. Nothing over there. Good at picking the route the first time I am. Snake. Is it over? I think it's over. Right, I can hear more flying creatures through the walls. Be on the lookout for those. Oh, okay. I was going to say, when did the flying ones start shooting out of their tails? But it's just a laser hiding behind that guy. Right, we've got a couple of secret rooms here, or like locked rooms. Check everything else is safe first. Safe over there. Safe up here. And around there. We've got four keys, so we will spend them liberally. There's nine bombs we now have. Got our bullet back. And that is a radio. Proximity sensor. Beeps when enemy is close. I think we're doing all right without that. My snake radar doing reasonably well today. Oh, okay, we've reached our boss fight. Nice of the door to give a different sound. So we get this door and then after the next door, we will then have to worry about the boss behind it, which is basically a giant turret of many smaller turrets let me just check what throwing a regular bomb is bomb left shift all right let's see how this goes it helps if i reload some I will be the first to tell you that that was a hot mess. And if we had not picked up the extra health earlier on, we definitely would have died. But as it is for now, we survived the boss. I can hear one last coin or bullet flopping around. Let's just check the secrets. Once I found a max HP up around here, but it seems that that is not going to be the case today. But what I think I will do there is we will hop into the trapdoor and take the opportunity to save and quit where we are. It's going to be 45 minutes, quite a long roguelike episode. And then next time we will see if we can get up to the level eight and the final boss but thank you ever so much for joining me if you are enjoying the series please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button if you have any rogue likes you'd like to recommend for my year in rogue do let me know otherwise i'll see you in the next one cheers